Topic for this video is complex trigonometric equations. In the previous video, you learned how to deal with the trigonometric equations, but those equations were the simple one. Here we'll learn to deal with the complex trigonometric equation. Once you learn the concept, the solving uh, any equation it depends upon strategy. Means you must develop your own strategies. You you should have concept to sort out your problems. But to develop that strategy, you sh you need some initial steps. Okay, and I'm providing them providing them to you by sorting out three different types of complex trigonometric equations. And uh, if if you get more questions of this type, means um, the questions can go, go beyond their domain domain of these three sums. You should develop your own strategies later on to deal with them. So right now, let's first deal with sin x equals sin 2x. If we focus on this equation, it's no more different from sin 2x equals half or sin x equals half. No? So here, sin of some angle equals to sin of some other angle. Does this mean those angles are equal? No. That means the one one of the angle means 2x belongs to the family of this angles okay means mm, sin x is if it is half so 2x is one of those angles which gives us half if sin x is root 3 by 2 then 2x is one of the angle which gives us root 3 by 2 so then we can write 2x equals n pi and this now have we sorted this equation no it is 2x and it's again in terms of x so we need to we must we know how to simplify it no we know we know the meaning of this why did we introduce it means if it is if there is even pi then x must get added up no and if it is odd pi then it should be subtracted so in keeping in view that we can simplify this equation as either 2x is equals to even pi now this is even pi plus x or 2x should be equals to odd pi in odd pi we can write 2n plus 1 also and 2n minus 1 also both gives us the odd number this time minus x so now we can sort it out this gives us x is equals to 2n pi and this gives us x equals to I forgot here pi. This gives us x is equals to two n plus one pi over three. So these are the two solution for this complex trigonometric equation. In fact, not needed, but just you can play around with this sine. 2x is equals to sin x. We can write it as cos 90 minus 2x and here also cos sorry cos 90 minus x. Now we can apply the other formula also the cos formula. If cos of some angle equals to cos of some other angle that means those angles belong to the same family. That means pi by 2 minus 2x is belongs to this family or this belongs to its family so here we can write for the cos uh, we have the formula 2n plus pi plus minus pi by 2 minus x and if we sort it out so either we have let me do it so here I am sorted I have sorted them if I separate it into two solutions one with the plus, one with the minus, this is with plus and that with, that with minus and you'll simplify further, the end result will be x equals to minus 2 and pi and here it will be x equals to minus 2 and plus 1 pi by 3 which is no which is no way different from this. How come? Because here we say where n belongs to integers and here also we say when n belongs to integers. Okay, so the value which is covered by this general formula for n equals to 1, the same value is covered by this gen general formula for n equals to minus 1 and same here. Means, so these two general forms can be used to 
can be used to represent the solution of these and these two general formulas also. So we can play around this like that. Coming over to next which is sin 3x plus sin x plus sin 5x is equals to 0. Means now how to deal with this? What strategy should we should we follow here? Okay. So the solving of any equation is the way out is through through factorization. How come? Means we cannot deal with this. Can we do sin of 3x plus x plus 5x? Can we take sin common? No, it's not sin into 3x, sin into x, sin into 5x. When it is not into, so we cannot take it out common even. So how to reduce it to the simple one? We have some formulas in trigonometry which we discussed further which started from cos a plus b plus minus cos a minus b and similarly for science those form four formulas which gave us four new formulas for this. We know the expansion of this is monomial. Okay, So by using that we can get rid of two of the terms and we can get a monomial here. Okay, So because it gives us something like sine of x plus y over 2 if you if you remember the previous module so we can get rid of two of the terms here I'm trying doing something else something here I'm using these two and I'll use one of these formulas and I'll shift this to that side why am I shifting to that side so that um, I can get some some sum like this and I can adopt the same technique now the formula for this sine a plus sine b this is a plus b and this is a minus b sine of a plus b and sine of a minus b and those a and b are same okay this is this is two values or a minus mn and this is also mn so 3x is the sum of m and n and x is the difference of m and n Okay, so the two terms are gonna be sin m sin n. Okay, and the next term for this expansion is gonna sorry sin m cos n plus cos m sin n. This is how it's gonna be, and the same terms here, but because this is m minus n, so second term of here and second time of here will cancel. You may pause the video and recall these concepts. I just want to tell you this will end up with 2 sin a plus b over 2 cos a minus b over 2 which will give us this. But is it any way Anyway, simpler, we were trying that it would match with this, but it did not. So when we are using this formula, we must very intelligently choose which two terms should be taken so that so that this can be simplified. Okay, so the two terms should be either I wish I would have got sine 5x here so that sine 5x and sine 5x would have cancelled. No? something like that so so you must think you must keep in mind whatever two terms you'll choose you'll get sine cos or cos cos or something like that but the angles if I focus on the angle I should pre-decide it that one of the angle is gonna be 2x and one of the angle is gonna be x so that won't work if I take these two one of the angle is gonna be 5x plus x divided by 2 3x and the other angle is gonna be 2x but 3x will work for me no so so you intelligently you should in intelligently choose two terms which can give us the angle of the third term also how come now here I'm choosing these two so sin 3x plus if I choose it as sin 5x plus sin x these two terms then I'll get plus 2 sine 6x over 2 which is 3x and and I'll get 5x minus 2x equals to 
0. Now this can be simplified as I can take sin 3x common means factorization can be done. Here I'll left with 1 plus 2 cos 2x is equals to 0. Now it's quite simple. The solution of this equation is either sin 3x equals to 0 and when you sort it out no, which means sin 3x is equals to sin pi by 2 and then 3x is equals to then the series of solutions here you know how to sort it out means so either sin 3x equals to 0 then get the value of x or 1 plus cos 2x is equals to 0 and sort it out to get the value of x no so this would be sorted in that ways so we discussed two complex two complex trigonometric equations now dealing with the third one okay if you have got something like that you cannot even solve it like the first one you cannot even sort it out like the second one so but what can we do here this can be written as 1 minus 1 minus sin square x plus 3 sin x equals to now we can use factorization how come this is 2 minus 2 sin square x plus 3 sin x equals to 0. So can you see it's this can be rearranged as okay now you know this is quadratic in sign no if you cannot see then you can substitute other substitute sin x equals to t no and then you can reduce it like 2t square minus 3t minus 2 equals to 0. You can find the value of t. Then you can resubstitute it as sin x. And you can calculate the value of x. Okay. In fact, no need. You can directly also, no need to let it as t. You can directly use the quadratic formula. Sin x is equals to minus b. Okay. Minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac 4 into 2, 8 into 2 16 over 2a so this is gonna be 3 plus minus 5 over 4 so you'll get the two values of sin x one is your 8 over 4 which is 2 the other one is minus half no you can get two values of this in which this is not sign cannot take two value the maximum value is always one so this can be discarded and you can proceed with this and you can find out the general so general solution for sine x equals minus half so i discussed three of the three of the complex quadratic questions rest you have to develop the strategies okay first let's first i'll give you the questions based on them let's see how much you have learned through it Okay, thank you.